Good morning, Living Word. I want to share some uh, some quick thoughts on our recommended scripture readings uh, this week, particularly the Old Testament uh, reading from Genesis 28. The, the passage gives us a glimpse into the life of Jacob. Jacob was, uh, as you know, the deceiver, uh, the one who deceived his father and stole the blessing, the birthright that should have gone to his brother Esau. Uh, His father Isaac sends him uh, away to stay with his uncle Laban. And on his way, he he stops for the night and he lays down and he uses a a rock for a pillow and he falls asleep. And let me uh, read for you Jacob's dream that he has, starting in verse 12. Genesis 28, starting in verse 12. He had a dream in which he saw a ladder or a stairway resting on the earth with its top reaching to heaven. And the angels of God were ascending and descending on it. There above it stood the Lord, and he said, I am the Lord, the God of your father Abraham and the God of Isaac. I will give you and your descendants the land on which you are lying. Your descendants will be like the dust of the earth, and you will spread out to the east and to the west, to the north and to the south. All peoples on earth will be blessed through you and your offspring." I am with you and will watch over you wherever you go, and I'll bring you back to this land. I will not leave you until until I have done what I promised you. Well, I'm not going to work through the whole text because it really does deserve uh, its own sermon, but I want to just briefly point out two places that we see Jesus jump off the pages of this Old Testament text. Uh, First, notice the promise in verse 14. Your descendants or your seed will be like the dust of the earth and you'll spread out to the west and to the east, to the north and to the south. All peoples on earth will be blessed through you and your offspring. Uh, This would be true not in a nationalistic or a political sense, but through the seed, through the offspring, through the shoot that would grow up out of this line. This is, this is Jesus, right? While Jacob certainly couldn't understand everything uh, in his day, we have this great benefit of, of history revealing how Jacob the deceiver would himself be deceived. Deceived into taking Leah as his wife. And, and through Leah, a, a son named Judah would be born. And through the line of, of Judah would come the Lion of Judah, the son of David the Son of God, the Lamb of God, who would be slain for the sin of the world. And so in the most literal sense imaginable, all peoples on earth were blessed through Jacob, just as God had promised in the dream. Thanks be to God. And Jacob named this place Bethel, which means house of God or dwelling place of God, because God was dwelling there and revealed himself to Jacob. But but there's more. Uh, Jesus shows up again in the dream. What what object appears in his dream? A, A giant ladder bridging the gap between heaven and earth, stretching across the chasm that exists between God and man. Jesus himself would reference this image in John chapter 1, uh, verse 51, when, when, he, when he said, Very truly, I tell you, you will see heaven open up and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. Jesus himself is the ladder, that which allows for communion between a perfectly holy God and us as sinful people. But even more, uh, Jesus is actually the new Bethel. Bethel, the the dwelling place of God among man, was, was not simply found at that place where Jacob built a pillar. The true Bethel is wrapped up in the person of Jesus Christ. He is both the latter and the one through whom God reveals himself. When I th- what I think is even more uh, beautiful about this is when we consider the, the theology that John provides for us earlier in uh, his gospel, in the first chapter of his gospel. That Jesus is uh, the word who became flesh. The word of God that was with God in the beginning and took on flesh and moved in 
among us. Here's why this is so helpful for us. The, the, the latter, bridging the gap between God and man, the new Bethel through whom God reveals himself to us, the lamb who descended from Judah, the son of Jacob, is the very God-man that we personally encounter and commune with in the living word of God. When we open his word, when we read of Jacob lying with his head on a rock, dreaming away, we actually encounter and receive from the second person of the Trinity, the Lord Jesus Christ. What a motivation for us to be people of the word. May the Lord bless you this week and may we be filled with his hope. 